Good morning, my name is Alex Askarov and it is uh, September the 14th, 2014. Hang on, September the 4th, 2014. It's, a, it's an absolutely beautiful autumn day. And what we're going to talk about today is the Singer 20, also later known as the Singer So, so Handy. Now, in around 1910, Singers came out with this little beauty. I don't know if it will focus on that. Um, and this is a later model. I'll tell you about this in a second. The original first one had a four-spoke hand wheel. And Singers never really bothered uh, messing around with toy sewing machines, but they had a lull in production. They looked at the market and they thought for the first time, just before the Great War, we'll have a go at toy sewing machines. And they copied many of the ideas of the time that Wilcox and Gibbs, but they had enough unique things to patent a lot of it and so the Singer 20 burst onto the scenes and became the best selling toy sewing machine ever made. Now after the patents ran out, which was seven years, 14 years, that uh, then all of a sudden everybody copied exactly the same shape. So you could have bought a Singer like that or you could have bought, this is the Japanese much later model but exactly the same the all sewing machine made in Japan and then you have this is the very best selling British made sewing machine this is the Essex tatty little Essex but again you can see the Singer 20 in every single part of the machine now people think that this early model disappeared but in fact the one I'm holding was made in the 1970s because just before the giant Singer Corporation collapsed as we know it, the, the, the original Singer Corporation started by Edward Clark and Isaac Singer, just before that disappeared in the 70s, they had another go at making, Look, they looked at the market, what was their best selling machine, toy machine, this was it. So they made an identical copy of their original machine. So this one, I don't know if, if you'll catch that, if it will say, but it says quite clearly USA, but in fact, this little black beauty was made in Turkey. Very, very nice machine made by singers in Turkey in its original box. Now, after the Second World War, they started to change the Singer 20 and it became a Singer So Handy. And the So Handy came out in loads of different guises. Um, by now, this is such a popular toy, which singers are also selling to the adult market as a portable machine, quite clever marketing. Um, and so they were made in all sorts of places. And on the machines, oh, this one says made, this, this colour was made in Great Britain. This little crinkle colour, that's quite a rare a crinkle finish, it's a horrible colour, but it's quite a rare little machine. I believe that was made in Canada or America. But again, you had all, diff all the different countries all where the Singer plants, where they could easily switch just like that to producing a little uh, toy like this. Now this is one of the rarer machines, and this is the Singer So Handy Red. There's red and blue. The most common colour was black, uh, but they, they had loads of different colours. Um, but the collectible ones, the very collectible ones, are the reds and the blues. And I'm just going to show you a little trick here with the Singer, the Singer So Handy. If ever you have a problem and you cannot get your machine to stitch properly, it's nine times out of ten because of this tiny little mechanism here. And on each stitch, as the needle comes up, as it gets to its highest point, it just lifts this little plate. And as the needle drops, it traps the thread. So the thread is locked in there. Now, if your machine doesn't lock the thread there, then it doesn't create the lock for the chain stitch down here. And so if you've got a faulty Singer 20 that's not... Um, stitching properly look at this because this is usually the point and you can see this little beauty is in lovely condition and the great thing about this is it does a perfect little chain stitch and actually feeds through the work really nice and easily and and the old dear who i got this machine from this little clamp um she got a shilling off because um because the clamp was a different color because normally the clamps uh, the clamps are in the same color as the actual machine so that they'll be matched up and so 
she went out and uh, they all had ice creams with the money that she saved. So she got a little machine for her birthday and then she got a little bit of an extra present. And so that's it. I just wanted to talk to you today about this fantastic little Singer So Handy. They're available everywhere. On, you can pick them up on, on eBay and everything for a reasonable price. Some collectors get the whole, they go crazy and they get the whole range, every different colour and every different eight spoke, four spoke hand wheels, you know. Uh, but it makes a great collection and they're not too expensive at the moment. So grab one if you can because these little beauties are made in a different quality that will last forever. Well, I hope you enjoyed this morning's little session on the Singer 20.